Welcome students. My name is Himan Thakur and today we will see our chapter number 1 chemical reaction and equation. Actually in this chapter we will see first the introduction of our chapter. In the introduction part we will consider some of the things like physical and chemical changes and how we know reaction so my dear students we will focus on these two topics mainly in our introduction part first point is physical and chemical changes second is how we know the reaction is chemical reaction to explain these two topics first I will put some of the examples in front of you daily life we see some of the examples in which the process will be chemical reaction So my dear students, we just face these three situations in our life. First is production of alcohol, second one is conversion of milk into curd and third one is respiration. In this all the processes, a new substance will be formed from the old one. The process in which a new substance will be, will be formed from the old one is called chemical process and the reaction is called chemical reaction. In this chapter, I will take the reference of NCRT textbook which will help many of the students to know about mainly the contents of this particular chapter and the topics. In this chapter, we will take some of the activity by which we can prove that some of the changes may be chemical changes. So my dear friends, our first activity is magnesium change into magnesium oxide. In this activity, we will take the magnesium ribbon and clean it with the help of sandpaper. After the cleaning of magnesium ribbon, when we burn it, we will see the pink color magnesium ribbon turn into white color powder.
burning, pink color magnesium ribbon will change into white color powder that is called magnesium oxide. We can see in this activity, magnesium and magnesium oxide both are different on the basis of their color. Magnesium was the pink color ribbon and magnesium oxide is the white color powder. We can take one more example related to chemical changes. is we have to take a few solution of lead nitrate and take a few solution of potassium iodide when we mix this two colorless solution we will get a substance which having yellow color that is called lead iodide one more activity we have seen in our textbook that is number 1.3 we will take a few amount of zinc granule take this zinc granule into a, into a conical flask and in the conical flask we will add a few amount of dilute sulfuric acid when we add dilute sulfuric acid in zinc granules then zinc sulfate will be formed and a gas will be evolved that is called hydrogen gas so in all these three activities, we have seen some of the changes which indicate that chemical reaction has takes place. So, on the basis of these three activities, we can say that a process or a reaction in which new substance will be formed from the old substance is called chemical process. So, our definition of chemical reaction is
simple way we can tell the definition of chemical reaction a reaction or a process in which a new substance will form by existing one is called chemical reaction in this reaction old substance will lost is its identification or its identity and form a new substance it is called chemical reaction so on the basis of these three activities we can say that if any change will take place that is called a chemical reaction or chemical process so we can put four changes we can put four changes in this reaction by which we can identify that the given reaction is chemical reaction or not these four changes are given here so these four points indicate that the chemical reaction takes place or not according to this point first point is change in color if any change in color will takes place in any reaction so we can say that the chemical reaction has takes place second one change in state if any substance will change its state then we can say that the chemical reaction takes place in that process third one is change in temperature if we find that in any process the temperature will be changed then we can say that the chemical reaction has takes place for example in our activity number 1.3 when we add zinc granules in dilute sulfuric acid in this reaction hydrogen gas will emerge from that particular conical flask and the temperature of conical flask will be slightly change so on the basis of this particular characteristics we can say that the chemical reaction has takes place and our fourth point is evolution of gas as we have seen in our activity number 1.3 that if we add dilute sulfuric acid in zinc granules then hydrogen gas will be evolved so we have seen in our all the three activities in activity 1.1 change of color will take place in activity 1.2 also color change will take place and in activity number 1.3 when you perform then evolution of gas as well as the change in temperature will take place so this is our introduction of first chapter chemical reaction and equation now we will see some of the question so our first question is which process does not involve a chemical reaction first point or first option is melting of ice b formation of curd c digestion of food and d fermentation so my dear students i already told you that chemical reaction or chemical changes will takes place when any 
old substance lost its identity and form a new substance or we can say that a new substance will be formed from the old one it is called chemical reaction so in this four processes if we take the example of melting of ice so there is only ice is present and it change only its state it change only its state not its chemical composition and uh, in the case of formation of curd we know that i already told you or already we know that if milk will change into curd then in that process lactose sugar will convert into lactic acid so the composition of milk is change so we can say that it is the example of chemical changes so this option is wrong third one digestion of food we know that in our body we are taking food and uh, this food will be convert into carbon dioxide and water because we know that in the food glucose is present when the glucose will burn in the presence of oxygen this glucose will change into carbon dioxide and water so option c is also an example of chemical changes and uh, d is fermentation fermentation is the process in which sugar change into alcohol so our correct answer is a melting of ice next is which process does involve a chemical reaction a melting of wax b respiration c evaporation of camphor or d evaporation of water so we know that according to the definition if a new substance will form from the old one that is called the chemical changes so i hope you also go with option number b that is respiration because in respiration carbohydrate or glucose will break down into carbon dioxide and water so the process respiration is an example of chemical changes third one before burning in air the magnesium ribbon is cleaned why first make the ribbon surface shinier we remove the layer of magnesium oxide from surface C remove the layer of magnesium carbonate and D remove the moisture from surface. So <coughs> why we clean the magnesium ribbon? Because we know that if you are taking magnesium, then magnesium is already present in air, and when it comes in the contact of air, it will form the layer of magnesium oxide on its surface. So we already seen in our activity number one point one. if we want to convert magnesium into magnesium oxide then first we have to rub magnesium with the help of sand paper because of this the layer of magnesium oxide will be clean and the magnesium will be completely burn so why we clean magnesium ribbon we have to clean magnesium ribbon before burning because magnesium ribbon having the layer of magnesium oxide on its surface and if it will be removed then it can be easily burn so these are the three question for today and i hope you like my video so thank you so much